Find 22 phrases that expose a narcissist for the manipulative pests they are. Dealing with a narcissist is like getting caught in a spiderweb spun by a giant entitled cockroach. Their inflated sense of superiority and endless mind games are enough to make anyone's skin crawl. Narcissists use manipulative language and conversational tactics to fulfill their constant craving for power and validation. Their words and phrases provide telltale signs of their true slimy intentions. Let's explore 22 common narcissistic sayings that should raise major red flags. Recognizing these sneaky phrases can help expose narcissists for the bottom feeding bugs they are so you can squash their manipulation. 1. I was going to do something nice but you don't deserve it now. Narcissist withdrawing rewards. Imagine this. You're cleaning up dog poop and you spot a cockroach scurrying along. You go to stomp on it but it says I was going to lead you to some chocolate but now I won't because you tried to kill me. Crazy, right? Well, that's exactly the type of nonsense narcissists try to pull. This phrase is meant to manipulate you into working overtime to stay on the narcissist's good side so you can get access to their oh-so-precious crumbs. It's a nasty little insect trick used to maintain control. For example, one woman's narcissistic boyfriend generously offered to pay her bills one month, but when she confronted him about flirting with other girls, he suddenly snapped. Well, now you can forget about me paying your bills after that little comment. What a pest. Another narcissist promised his employee a promotion and raise for all her extra work. But when she asked to take a sick day, he sneered. I was going to give you that promotion, but with that attitude, you can kiss it goodbye. Talk about conditional reward bait. 2. You're trying to control me. Accusations of control by narcissist. Narcissists hate boundaries because they limit their ability to manipulate and exploit people. When you try to enforce healthy boundaries, narcissists accuse you of being controlling. It's just a defense tactic to squash your needs and paint you as the one in the wrong. One narcissistic woman screamed, You're suffocating me and destroying this relationship with your jealous rules. When her boyfriend asked her to stop flaunting herself on social media. Sounds like someone just got a little too close to the roach trap. Another narcissist yelled at his wife, I'm a free spirit. You have no right telling me when I can and can't go out with my friends. He labelled her request for basic communication about his plans as her being demanding and controlling. 3. Agree with me because I'm always right. Narcissist insistence on being right. Ever seen a cockroach insist the crumb you just dropped is actually caviar? That's basically what narcissists do when they arrogantly insist their opinions are facts. Challenging their views causes a full-blown tantrum filled with insults and condescension. Not exactly mature adult behavior. For example, when a woman provided research proving her husband's parenting style was detrimental, he yelled, How dare you question my expertise? I don't have to listen to an idiot like you. What stellar logic from someone with the emotional intelligence of a legless bug? In another case, a narcissistic friend insisted ghosts were real despite a complete lack of scientific evidence. When asked to provide some proof, he shouted, I shouldn't have to justify myself to a moron like you. Very convincing stuff. 4. I don't care what people think about me. Narcissist feigned confidence. This is likely a flat-out lie. Narcissists care deeply about their image and validation. They just don't want to admit it because it pokes holes in their inflated sense of superiority. So they pretend not to care while secretly obsessing over praise and supply from their various victims. One narcissist swore he didn't care at all what people said about him, but he monitored his social media obsessively for positive comments and threw fits over the slightest criticism. For someone who supposedly doesn't care, he seems pretty desperate. Similarly, a narcissistic woman insisted she paid no attention to her reputation or appearance, but she spent hours primping each morning, viciously gossiped about others and flew into rages if anyone insulted her looks. Guess she cares more than she lets on. 5. My personal life is none of your business. Narcissist avoiding accountability. Roaches like to hide in dark crevices where no one can scrutinize their filthy behavior. Narcissists similarly avoid accountability by proclaiming their privacy precludes any questioning or criticism. Of course, their supposed privacy only seems to apply to their misdeeds, not yours. They'll monitor your personal life with a microscope while scurrying away from any examination of their own sketchy actions. For example, one man refused to share his phone password with his wife because he said he deserved privacy, but he demanded access to her phone any time he wished to snoop through all her messages and photos. Sounds less like privacy and more like dodgy bug behavior. Another narcissist kept his home office locked and forbid his family from entering when he was away, but he had no qualms about rummaging through his teen daughter's room and backpack whenever she wasn't home. More like isolation than privacy. 6. You made me angry. It's your fault. Narcissist deflecting blame for outbursts. Roaches don't take responsibility for crawling over and contaminating your leftovers. They just react instinctually to stimuli. Narcissists similarly avoid accountability for their temper tantrums by blaming others for provoking them. One narcissistic father bellowed at his son, You pissed me off with your whining, now you got me worked up. 
He justified his screaming rage as a natural reaction to being aggravated, even though a mature adult should control their anger. Another narcissist lashed out at his wife, saying, I wouldn't have to yell if you would just listen. He painted his verbal abuse as an unavoidable consequence of her supposed shortcomings, rather than his choice to be hurtful. 7. Bow down and worship my opinions. Narcissists demand for validation. Cockroaches expect you to let them scurry across your kitchen counter totally undisturbed. They demand entry into your life whether you like it or not. Narcissists have similarly overinflated opinions of themselves and their perspectives. One woman's partner demanded she accept his views as facts not to be questioned. Whenever she proposed a conflicting opinion, he accused her of being argumentative and trying to undermine his expertise. Narcissists can't handle anything that challenges their superiority. In another case, a narcissistic friend would text his girlfriend pep talks, filled with his unsolicited advice for hours a day. When she asked for space, he accused her of rejecting his wisdom. Narcissists feel entitled to cram their advice down people's throats. 8. The rules don't apply to me. Narcissist flaunting double standards. Roaches just want to sneak into your home and eat your food without getting stomped on. They don't care about following proper protocol. Likewise, narcissists exempt themselves from norms, ethics, and basic decency. Despite constantly cheating on his wife, one narcissistic husband forbid her from even talking to male co-workers, lest he leave her for the affront. He justified his hypocrisy and double standards by claiming he was too complex for conformity, more like too cockroach-brained for consistency. Similarly, a narcissistic friend would always show up hours late when meeting others, but fly into a rage if anyone arrived even five minutes late meeting her. She'd then lecture about how people weren't respecting her time. Rules for thee, but not for me. Nine. That's not what happened at all. Narcissist rewriting history. When you confront a cockroach zigzagging across your counter, it will never own up to trespassing. Narcissists similarly deny and rewrite history to suit their interests, even when presented with undeniable evidence. Taking accountability would shatter the facade of their superiority. One narcissist provably lied to her colleague about covering her work shift. When her co-worker produced text receipts proving she'd agreed to help, the narcissist denied ever making such a commitment. Cockroaches stand by their nonsense, even when caught red-handed. In another case, a narcissistic husband denied cussing out his wife in public, even though the entire dinner table witnessed his hurtful profanity-laced rant. When his wife recounted the exact quotes and details, he firmly insisted she had imagined the entire scene. Gotta protect that fragile cockroach ego. 10. I'm the victim here, not you. Narcissist playing the victim. Just like cockroaches want to sneak into your home without getting stomped on. Narcissists want sympathy and attention without taking accountability. They portray themselves as victims in order to divert blame and gain control. One narcissistic friend would often cancel plans last minute, then make posts seeking validation about how lonely and excluded she felt. When people expressed concern, she soaked up the sympathy instead of apologizing for cancelling. A narcissistic boss blamed his staff for his own management failures, claiming they were conspiring against him by not working hard enough. He spun himself as the victim of their supposed laziness, rather than taking responsibility as a leader. 11. I'm smarter than you, so your feelings don't matter. Narcissist dismissing others' needs. Cockroaches crawl on kitchen counters spreading germs without a care in the world. Narcissists similarly trounce all over people's feelings, because they believe their superior logic overrides basic human emotion and decency. A narcissistic husband dismissed his wife's frustration about constantly being left alone with their kids by saying her feelings didn't matter. His time was more valuable. Never mind partnership or empathy. A narcissistic friend told someone struggling with grief after a parent's death to get over it, since the parent lived a long life anyway. He prized his own emotional distance over any empathy toward profound loss. 12. It's just a joke. You're too sensitive. Narcissists dismissing hurtful behavior. When you call out a narcissist's insults or inappropriate jokes, they gaslight you by claiming you just can't take a joke. This passes the blame for their hurtful words onto you being oversensitive. A narcissist mocked his girlfriend's appearance in front of friends, then claimed she embarrassed him by taking offense to his harmless jokes. He refused to take responsibility for his tactless remarks. When a woman got upset over her narcissistic co-worker's racist jokes, he responded that she lacked a sense of humor and didn't appreciate satire. He deflected blame rather than admitting fault. 13. I'm going to teach you a lesson. Narcissistic threats of retribution. Like an angry cockroach rearing up on its hind legs, narcissists threaten retaliation as punishment for perceived slights or boundaries. Their superior attitude implies they have the right to discipline you. When his wife confronted him about his selfish behavior, a narcissist yelled, You'll regret this. 
I'm going to teach you not to disrespect me like this again. His threats tried to re-establish control through fear. After being pulled over for speeding, a narcissistic driver shouted at the police officer. You'll pay for this insult. I won't let you get away with this. He felt entitled to retaliate against even basic law enforcement. 14. I never said that. Narcissists denial of reality. Narcissists outright deny their own actions and statements, even when you have proof. They rewrite history to suit their agenda. Trying to reason with them is useless. When a woman asked why her narcissistic mother denied ever calling her as a child, her mother snapped. You must have dreamt that. I would remember calling you. She rewrote history rather than acknowledge facts. Despite his girlfriend witnessing him flirt with another woman, a narcissist firmly asserted, that never happened. You must be imagining things to make me look bad. There was no reasoning with his self-serving false version of events. 15. I'm too busy for this nonsense. Narcissistic dismissiveness and superiority. Narcissists believe others' needs are trivial compared to their own oh-so-important time. Their dismissiveness conveys superiority. A narcissistic friend declined participating in a charity fundraiser by claiming she couldn't bother with such nonsense when she had so many priorities. Her smug tone asserted her time was more valuable than others. When a narcissistic boss was confronted about a staff member feeling overlooked, he sneered. I'm far too busy and important to worry about people's feelings. His arrogance dismissed basic leadership duties. 16. I'll destroy you. Narcissists' threats and intimidation. When narcissists can't control you, they resort to extreme threats and bullying. Their menacing tactics are meant to break you down. A narcissistic ex-wife told her former husband, I will ruin your reputation and take everything from you. When he began dating someone new, she weaponized threats to try regaining power. After an argument with his son, a narcissistic father screamed, I brought you into this world and I can take you out of it. He used fear and intimidation to reassert his position of dominance. 17. I'm going to end this relationship. Narcissistic relationship threats. Narcissists threaten to leave relationships to provoke fear and regain control. What should be an adult discussion becomes emotional blackmail. During any disagreement, a narcissist threatened divorce and used the subsequent anxiety to manipulate his partner into apologizing just to de-escalate. His threats created constant eggshells. When confronted about her selfish behavior, a narcissistic friend announced she would drop the friendship unless her friend shaped up. She weaponized the threat of abandoning the relationship to avoid accountability. 18. I did it for your own good. Narcissists justifying questionable actions. Similar to how cockroaches trespass in your home oblivious to boundaries, narcissists justify intrusive or inappropriate behavior as being in your best interest. Their arrogance assumes they know what's right for you. A narcissistic mother read her daughter's diary without permission, claiming she was just looking out for her daughter's well-being. She refused to acknowledge the breach of privacy. After sabotaging a co-worker's promotion, a narcissistic boss claimed he was protecting the company from what he deemed the co-worker's lack of qualifications. He felt entitled to impose his will. 19. You should be grateful I tolerate you. Narcissistic demands for gratitude. Cockroaches expect you to welcome them into your home without complaint. Likewise, narcissists demand gratitude for the basic decency of being in a relationship, as if their mere presence is a privilege. A narcissistic husband insisted his wife should feel lucky he chose to marry her. He blew up over the slightest grievance and said she owed him daily thankfulness. After running hours late for a date, a narcissist told his girlfriend she should be grateful he showed up at all given his busy schedule. He felt owed appreciation just for gracing her with his time. Hey, I'm more successful than you. Narcissists bragging and condescension. Like cockroaches scuttling around arrogantly despite pestering humans, narcissists flaunt their status and achievements to assert superiority. Their bragging attempts to elevate themselves while looking down on others. A narcissistic friend would casually mention his lavish vacations and newest luxury purchases almost daily. His goal was to impress others and highlight their comparative lack of wealth. A narcissistic boss frequently overshared the exclusivity of her Ivy League education. She wanted colleagues to feel inadequate next to her pedigree and privilege. Fion, I'm better than you in every way. Narcissistic grandiose superiority. Cockroaches invade your home as they please, with no regard for your feelings. Similarly, narcissists truly believe they are more valuable human beings, so they don't need basic empathy or respect. A narcissistic father belittled his son's academic and athletic pursuits, asserting he had achieved far more by the same age. He refused to support interests that didn't glorify his superior status. A narcissistic friend frequently obsessed over her high IQ and physical beauty when others discussed talents or relationships. She needed to highlight her primacy in all domains. 22. I'm going to make you pay. Narcissists' vengefulness. When their ego gets bruised, cockroaches seem to skitter around more defiantly. Narcissists similarly retaliate against perceived wounds to their self-image. 
they vow vengeance at all costs. After being passed over for a promotion at work, a narcissist vowed to tank the new manager's projects in order to get them fired. He felt entitled to reciprocate any setbacks to his ascent. When his girlfriend broke up with him, a narcissist ranted, I will become so successful you'll spend your life plagued with regret for this mistake. Even in loss, he had to reaffirm his superiority. Time to grab the Roach Motel. There you have 22 narcissistic phrases to beware of. Learn their language patterns, spot their nonsense early, and refuse to feed their ego-driven agenda. Protect your happiness. You deserve pest-free relationships. Learning to spot even subtle narcissistic phrases can help expose the narcissists scurrying around seeking supply. Pay close attention to the context, timing, and intention behind certain sayings. Trust your instincts. Narcissists ultimately care about their own needs above all else. Rather than feeding into their manipulation, set firm boundaries and prioritize your own health and emotions. Protect yourself from narcissistic cobwebs without getting ensnared. If needed, bust out the narcissist roach motel and stop taking on these parasites problems. You deserve better company.